Hello lords and ladies! Welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Awful news in animation this past week as HBO Max has removed several cartoons from their site suddenly and without warning, including hit shows such as Infinity Train and Summer Camp Island. This comes on the heels of the Warner Brothers Discovery merger, and the cancellation of Batgirl, the Scoob sequel, and more, despite both films basically being finished. Reportedly, that move was done, among others, to save money via tax write-offs, which would also mean neither could ever be released. Fans have speculated that this is also why HBO has removed over 30 shows from the streaming site as well, though some have come out and revealed it was to avoid paying the creators of shows like Infinity Train or Summer Camp Island any residuals. This is income that the creators would have been given as part of their shows being on the platform, so think something like royalties. Thanks to this massive idiotic move, DVDs of Infinity Train mentioned above have been completely bought out and scalpers are currently reselling the physical media for hundreds of dollars. Infinity Train Book 1, for example, was last seen at $600 on eBay. Yikes. The creator for Infinity Train has already given his blessing to pirating his show, though as of this writing it still remains to be bought digitally on sites like Amazon Prime Video and iTunes, though many fans are leery of the shows remaining on those platforms for long. And they seem to have a good reason, as Cartoon Network has removed all mention or trace of Infinity Train or Summer Camp Island from their Twitter and YouTube accounts. They've also taken down the soundtrack for Infinity Train, so good luck finding that. As one would expect, the fan response to this has been incredibly loud. You torment me! With many people chastising Warner Brothers and HBO Max for this move. It doesn't help that Hollywood's attitude to animation has always been dismissive, as if cartoons are somehow a lesser form of expression than live action. The move is beyond greedy and is a slap in the face of any cartoon lover. I wouldn't be shocked to see many fans get rid of their subscriptions as protests. Luckily, these shows, again, can be bought digitally on Amazon or iTunes, but I would suggest you hurry in case those disappear as well. If you're in more of a pirating mood, there's plenty of sites you can use to watch any of the missing shows, such as Kim Cartoon. Though, a uh, bit of warning, use a good ad blocker. This user on Twitter has also shared their folder of Infinity Train Seasons 1 through 4, so that is also an option if you want to avoid virus-ridden third-party sites. What do you think of what's happening with HBO Max? Share your grievances down below. Also, let me know if you'd like me to review Infinity Train or Summer Camp Island. I'm open to it, thanks to all of this. And before you click off the video, consider becoming a member for early access to videos, polls, etc. I've also recently reopened my merch shop, so that's something to look into on my store tab. And finally, I'm an ambassador for Extra Wallets, a cool slim wallet that blocks folks from stealing your credit card info and can pop your cards up quickly with the press of a button. It's a really neat wallet, so if you're interested, there's a link down below that will take you to their site, where I may earn a commission if you buy anything. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bada box me! No, you're not in this episode.